Hello, this is Elizabeth from AllThingsPaper.com and I'd like to share with you my latest mini. Once again, this is a an envelope mini using number 10 business envelopes. Um, I just love making these things. I can't seem to get enough of them. This one is themed uh, The Garden and so I titled it The Garden and uh, isn't this pretty? I made this all uh, kind of, I don't know, I had this in my head, a white picket fence with flowers growing. And I made these little eggs out of uh, paper clay and painted them. And then this was a nest that I had that I got at the store, but it was way too big. So I had to cut it down, pull it apart, re-glue it, and it came out pretty good. And then I made the little white picket fence. And I don't know if you can see this, but I made it um, crackled. I painted it with two coats of paint. Underneath it is the burnt umber. And then I used the crackle medium and then the white on top to give it that old shabby look. And this is uh, that moss that you buy in a package. And what I did is I dipped it in acrylic medium so that it's not like raw and it's pretty, I, it, it, it was falling apart. So I this way it won't fall apart and I glued it all on. And then I added lots of glitter. I don't know if you can see it's all glittery. Let's see if I can get it to sparkle. And I added the little rhinestones and the tiny little flowers. Those are sequins with little tiny pearls inside of them. Aren't they pretty? So I like the overall look of it. I think it turned out well. I may finish this. I may add something here. I'm not sure. It doesn't, I'm not sure if it's finished. And then this is a little bird with a little sparkly bird here. And uh, once again, this is all hand dyed and crinkled by me, the seam binding. And this is a pretty little charm here. It's uh, aqua blue, the color. It matches the ribbon. Isn't that pretty? And so you open this up the same way as the other ones. And on this first page, isn't that pretty? I designed a bunch of paper uh, in Photoshop and this is one of them. And what I did is I printed them out and then I, I added the little stickles. Uh, once again, I don't know if you can see the glitter, but it's a little glittery. And what this, this is a photo frame area here. And this actually will pop out. It's loose and you can put your own picture in there or you can leave it as, as is. And this page, uh, these are pretty uh, store-bought dimensional. They're, they're popped up, um, beautiful stickers. And then this was a, uh, I stamped this. It says, if you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need. And I've used this in lots of my artwork because I just love that saying, and I think it's true. On this page is another little photo frame area. This, again, it's loose and will pop out. And this is uh, one of my little designs that I made in Photoshop and printed it out, and then I added the glitter here again. Oh, in the background, I forgot to say on this page, this paper is from a, uh, a family diary that I have of my great-great-great-great-grandfather who fought in the Civil War, and he kept a diary. And I scanned one of the pages, and that's what I've used for this background here. And it was from 1863, I think it is, 1862 or 1863. And... Um, I used this paper. I just, I love the handwriting. He had beautiful handwriting. And uh, I just, it's kind of a special thing for me that I added it in there. And this is some pretty poppies that I made using a new die with a matching um, stamp that I bought recently at a, at a show. And uh, then I cut them all. I fussy cut them and painted them and added some glitter. I was in a glittery mood <laughs> when I made this one. There's lots of glitter here, but it's not gaudy. I don't. I'm not big on gaudy glitter. Just like a nice subtle glitter. And on this page, there are. There's a, once again one more of this piece here with um, the 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 writing of my great great grandfather. Well, four. I think it's four greats. And this is a, a, again, this is loose and this comes out. And I made all these on each page. There, uh, I bought a new Martha Stewart punch that makes these little photo holders. And then this is a page that I fussy cut all this out from a beautiful uh, wrapping paper that I've had for years. 
and it says here time began in a garden and I popped this up it's dimensional isn't that pretty and this page it says gardening is a way of showing that you believe in tomorrow and I made kind of a little garden scene with lots of little flowers and leaves and this is a really cool praying mantis stamp that I have it's one of my favorite stamps it's an old stamp I've had it for years and what I did is I stamped it and I painted I embossed it first with copper and then I painted it with uh, the twinkling H2O's to give it that shimmery green can you see it's shimmery and then um, applied that there and I just love it and I made it kind of gardeny in the background I stamped stamps and things to make it look kind of like a lush garden and this page is I just thought it was so pretty the paper so I didn't do too much to it I stamped this as an old stamp I love this stamp it's I, again one of my favorites and then this is a real canceled stamp from Germany it says here Deutschland and uh, it, the green flowers it just struck me that it matched so well so I used it in here so it's a real stamp it's not a uh, copy and we turn the page and this is another of the beautiful sunflowers that I fussy cut and added and when I, I wanted to make the pocket but I didn't want to cover up the prettiness so I used the clear acetate to make the pocket so that you could still see the the pretty leaves because if I had add, added that it would have covered it up and I just thought that was too pretty to cover up and on this in this pocket there are three of these are um, labels that you can use to label your own pictures or write anything you might like. There's three of those and then there's two pretty tags that I made. They're, um, they're ferns and then the back side this is that same paper that I designed in Photoshop and that's the paper itself that came in the pack. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then here on this page uh, the last page it says in all things of nature there is something of the marvelous and uh, I just I just thought that was pretty and uh, again this is some pretty store-bought dimensional stickers that I had they're all popped up and dimensional they've got tiny little rhinestones in them and a little touch of glitter and I just thought they were so pretty so overall oh I forgot to tell you there's also pockets. There's four pockets here. One, two, three, four pockets. And inside are each, this is a piece of paper and it's all embossed and beautiful. I don't, can you, it's got that shimmery look to it. And that's the back. You can add a photo or you can write on it. So you have that one. And then there is this one, which is a nice old script. I don't know if it's French or not. I, I think it's French. Because I can't read, I can't read what it says, and I think it says it's French. And then there's another one here, same as the other pic the other paper. Same thing on the back. And then this is a beautiful, isn't that pretty? It's a, a this is from an old paper collection that I had of flowers. I love it. And on the back, it's got that nice pattern, repeating pattern. So you have these four pieces here, and then you have the tags and the labels and that's all your little extras here so that's four five six so that's, so that's nine pieces and you get this pretty beautiful little mini and um, I'm going to be put this putting this up on eBay pretty soon probably in the next couple of days and uh, I hope you enjoyed this come and visit me anytime at allthingspaper.blogspot.com or allthingspaper.com thank you so much bye bye